So today we've got something pretty fun to open. We've got this collector box of Infinity. So I've never opened a box of an unset before. Should be pretty fun. And it's actually some pretty decent stuff in here. Obviously the, the Shockland, specifically the Galaxy Foil ones. It'd be cool if we can get a couple of those. And this box in particular has been provided to me to open by the sponsor of this channel, Face to Face Games. Use code APEPLAYSTAVE to save 5% on your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Support the channel and visit facetofacegames.com today. So I believe we get a box topper in here as well. One of the shop lands. I actually went to a draft recently for Infinity. It's kind of cool. Um, to me, it seems definitely like these kind of sets, or maybe just this one in particular, will be best played at home with friends. Um, because when you're playing in a, like an actual tournament, there's so many of the rulings that are quite arbitrary, so it can get kind of awkward like that, especially if you're playing with people that you're not really super familiar with, or someone that's particularly competitive. But it seems like this is definitely good for playing at home with friends. Let's save the box stopper to the last, and hopefully I don't forget it. And there's actually one card in here that I'm looking for to play in at least one of my commander decks. It's one of the um, you know, cards that's legal outside of unsets that's actually quite good, I think. Uh, let's see here. Well done. So for most of these things, I'm probably just going to be looking for funny names or pictures. Here's the, what's it called, attraction. Most dangerous gamer. There's a galaxy foil robot pinata. So yeah, this is the, uh, basically the old school Pokemon foiling. But that's kind of cool though. I'm a fan of that foiling. Black hole. There's a standard legal, or not standard, but like eternal legal one, I guess. All right, and you also get reprints from the Previous unsets. Get a planes and a forest. So I believe in every pack you get one foil and one galaxy foil land. Uh, how should I organize this? So we want. We'll just put all the lands in one pile. Rares. Rares. Rare. Do the reprints, these things, and then I'll also have a pile for Mythics, and hopefully one for Shocklands. Don't imagine it would be a big pile, but maybe we can get a couple. Hmm, this one is a little bit difficult. Did it. There's an interesting food token for you. Bull. What does that say? Bluffer fish? Come on, focus. Alright. Gobsmacked. Pietra. Make a blank splash. That one felt a bit curled. <laughs> now you see me. Watermark getting interesting. Mountain Swamp. Okay. So what? The rares were there? This one. There's the reprint. And this one? Busted. There's a mythic Magar, Magar of the Magic Strings. There's a Galaxy Foil Comet. That's cool. A Doge. Hippa. Captain Rex Nebula. There's a cool looking forest there. Very nice. 
Or I'm putting the tokens right there. If I open it from the bottom, there we go. Bowls of fire. Meet and greet sis A. Interesting. It's a rare. Uh, rares. Chicken truth. I played this. I think two or three copies of this in the draft that I did. This is actually quite good for a two drop. A two two with ward two. And then like the sticker thing seems pretty decent actually. That's a pretty good card. Blue ribbon. Etra again. Old Buzzbark. Hardy of Myra's Marvels. Island Mountain. I think the more desirable of the lands are the ones that don't have this thing on it, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if we can get the Urza Academy Headmaster in the reprint slot. I'm biggin. It's a fun card. Celebrate thousand. Grand Marshal Macy is another mythic. There's a mythic reprint. Phoebe, head of sneak. Swamp Plains. The Plains looks pretty sweet, actually. In the galaxy foil there. Right, this one goes here. Wizards of the Blank. Wizards of the Guacamole. I played this in my draft deck as well, just as a 2 3 for 2. Because uh, I saw basically no cards that met this criteria having a. A creature with four or more legs. I figured there would be more, but I just got none of them. <laughs> Ignacio. Roxy. There's a spike tournament grinder. Plains Island. I think I want to put the rares over here. Should be easier to organize. So zero shocks so far. Carnival Barker. Angelic Rocket. Interesting. It's another Grand Marshal Macy. Plains looks pretty sweet too. It's kind of interesting for the planes to be the particularly looking ni uh, nice looking ones from this set because typically it's the islands and swamps that are the, the coolest uh, Full art basics. Grey Merchant of the Alphabet. Tug of War, another mythic. Clown Car. Ineffable Blessing. Cannot be effed. Leela Hospitality Hostess. There's a mythic there. Plains and Swamp. So 
world stare. How is this a par three? It's a pretty funny picture there, flavor judge. Wow. It's pretty great. Do you like that island? Three packs left. Where's the shop? I think this... Yeah, this is a pretty good land. Although, once again, it's... Only legal in unsets, but you can get any color depending on what you're wearing. Frankie Peanuts, Elephant Rogue. Blank Goblin. There is a mind sticker. You don't get any of the stickers in the collector packs, but this is because it's not meant to be drafted, right? So you wouldn't really need them. Blankosaurus, that could be fun. Steam Flogger of the Month. Contraptions. Okay, so we have one pack left, and we have not gotten any shock lands. Hmm. Also, I haven't seen that card that I'm looking for for my commander deck. It's a blue ribbon again. Luros of Myra's Marvels. This is a fun one. Ambassador Blurpity Blurp Boop. I enjoy saying that, saying that thing's name. Alright, will there be a Shockland? Not that one. Okay, we did it. We got one. Shockland, the Galaxy Foil Hallowed Fountain. In the very last card. Alright. So there's that one. I'm not sure if it's always a Galaxy Foil or not. Let's see what we can get in this, uh, this box topper here, though. What would be the best one? I guess Breeding Pool, Watery Grave, maybe? Steam Vents? There's a... Yeah, it wasn't cut so nicely there. I can actually feel it. Anyway. Temple Garden. Probably the worst one, but hey, we got it. That actually doesn't even really look like a space thing. This could just be like a regular Temple Garden. You got a little thing in the background there, but still. Anyway, I'll take it. So we got the two shocks. So for this one, I think I'm probably not going to do the recap thing, because uh, it's kind of really hard to tell um, what's, I guess, valuable or not. But there's still some cool stuff here. We got, uh, anyway, six Mythics. I'm happy with this thing, actually. The Galaxy Foil Comet. It's a cool dog. And we got the two shocks. Hallowed Fountain being the uh, Galaxy Foil one. So pretty neat. The card that I was looking for to put in my commander deck was a Starlight Spectacular. Oh, uh, that card seems really good. And I thought about maybe making a video just talking about that card, because it seems like a little bit overlooked to me at the moment, so I might do that. Anyway, though, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'd encourage everyone to come join my Discord server. You can find a link to that in the video description below. 
In the video description, you can also find my affiliate links for Dragon Shield in case you'd like to purchase any gaming supplies. You can follow those links and help out the channel while you do so. And also, I'd just like to take a moment to thank all the patrons who support me on Patreon. But otherwise, though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.